Welcome back friends to Plumbing with Tim. Today we are following back through with a video I did two weeks ago. I'm replacing a drop canister inside of a Kohler 1.28 gallon toilet. Now a couple weeks ago you saw me do a video where I took a 1.28 gallon Kohler toilet, uh, the tank, and we had to pull the canister and parts out of there. We weren't able to find it and I saw some comments on there, a guy saying you, know, you could order the part off Amazon overnight tried doing that and everybody was out of stock. So we had to order the part from Kohler Direct, which took almost two weeks, but we're back and we're ready to put it together. We have it, this is the box. Oh, there it is. Drop canister valve. As well as some gaskets and all that other good stuff. There's the tank. Let's go ahead and set it up and put this thing together. All right, so if you look closely, this is the original gasket that came off of this tank. And this is the newer and improved updated gasket. So before we put this thing in here though, we're gonna drop that drop canister in. I'm gonna show you how to do that. All right, gasket in, in first, like so. And we'll go on the other side and put the washer on. All right, pointed ends in. These two are offset a little more because those are the ones that go towards the front. Slide that over top just like that. Stuff our grommets in there. Takes a little bit to do it. Just have some patience. See that? There's two. And there's a third one, just like that. The next thing we have is our little gasket, the plastic friction ring. And then last but not least, the nut that's going to hold that whole thing down into place. Yeah. You're going to have to get a wrench on there, though, and tighten that thing down. That's what you're looking at. And this is where the tank bolts will come through. And we'll attach that to the bowl once we get upstairs to the condo. Take our little tube off our fluid master. Hook it to the top of that drop canister like that. See if I can do this with one hand. There we go. Very important that stays on there. Get it in there as good as you possibly can. It doesn't come back off. Next thing we got is a little chain here that's going to end up having to hook to the handle. See that? So it can come up and down. Did you guys see that? All right, it's time to go up on the fourth floor where we were a couple weeks ago and go ahead and set this tank on top of the bowl and see if we've got any leaks. Real quick, I want to show you something about this drop canister flush valve. Um, it, it does not operate on a flapper. You can see down in there, see the yellow ring? Yeah, that's your flapper. If you're going to replace this thing, turn the water off, take your top deal, twist it counterclockwise about a quarter turn, and this whole thing gets removed right there your flapper. This thing peels off and you can put a new one on. That will in time warp and then the toilet will start leaking and, and running and stuff. So that's how you do that. You see the bottom it's got that little piece that's like that. If you look down in there it's got to match that little spot down there. Elevators. Gotta love them. I feel like I'm delivering for Uber Eats or something. <laughs> Ooh, here we go. Four floor lingerie toilet tanks.
toughest part about doing this job is putting those bolts through those grommets through the tank that hold it to the bowl. You're gonna need a 9 16 inch wrench, 9 16 wrench, even a socket or something. Don't over tighten it, you'll crack that. But that was difficult pushing those bolts down through there. Man, other than that, everything went together good and now it's time to collect the money. That's all the time we got for this one. Thanks so much for hanging out as always. These are garbage toilets. I do not like them. He probably is paying more for the repair. He could have bought a new toilet and stuff. The 1.8 gallon canister flush, drop canister flush valve uh, for the Kohler. Kohler is a tricky little product. They don't make anything that is duplicate. You have to have the right part, it doesn't work. Thanks so much. Until next time, it's been plumbing with Tim. Keep plumbing.